is my friend Kels. Welcome back to my channel. It's Kelsey where we talk about all things glam and all things girly. So today I have my top 10 favorite nude lipsticks and this video is well overdue. Last year I did my top 10 red lipsticks and I will link that video for you if you'd like to go and reference it. But today is about the nudes and if you know me you know more of these nudes are pinky nudes <laughs> versus neutral nudes but I do have a couple of neutral nudes in here I do have a couple of well I have more than a couple of pinky nudes and then I have like some mauvey nudes so hopefully in this video you can find a lipstick that might work for you if you are new here to my channel thank you so much for clicking to all my video i hope that you will consider subscribing and joining the glam girl squad and if you're not new thank you for coming back i am so appreciative of your support and let's just get into this video so let's address what's on the lips first why don't we i am starting out with the gucci lipstick in the shade painted veil and i did top this lipstick with a little bit of charlotte tilbury's jk magic so i'll talk about those first and then we'll get into the other ones so the gucci lipstick in painted veil first of all this gucci lipstick formula is literally velvet it glides on this lips so smooth and it has like a little bit of slip to it so it makes the glide just even better but i have truly grown to love and adore a velvet lipstick because here is the painted veil color it gives such a beautiful matte like finish but your lips are not dry but you have that kind of matte finish with just a tinge a tinge of with a satin like finish so your lips don't ever look dry and crusty like it's a true matte type of formula. And once again, the you have to try you a velvet base lipstick. And I have two formulas here that I think are to die for. That if you're going to try, you got to try from one of these. Gucci is one of them. And I love the fragrance. If you don't like fragrance, then you know this is not the lipstick for you. But I love me a good fragrance. I think it smells divine but I love this color this is definitely a pinky nude you see the pink base to it but it also shows nude on the lips as well going into Charlotte Tilbury's JK magic love 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 this particular shade um, this is also a pinky nude this has more of your satin like formula and it is a little lighter in its shade so as you can see it next to the painted veil it does, it does show a little lighter. This shade is one of my perfect, my lips but better shades, I would say. It is so beautiful. Definitely a, a lipstick that I tend to throw in my purse, especially if I'm just gonna kind of, I don't really be going out nowhere, but in theory, if I'm gonna be out and I want like a nice neutral lipstick that I can easily apply, it has a really nice finish on the lips, but I don't have to worry about needing a lip liner for my complexion. JK Magic is wonderful. The Charlotte Lipstick Formula is by far one of my favorite formulas, hands down. And, you'll, and you are going to see a few different Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. So, love JK Magic. Next, we have Lisa Eldridge. Now, this is the other velvet lipstick formula that if you have not tried, oh my goodness you need to try it. So I can't begin to tell you if I like the Gucci or Lisa Eldridge better, but I will tell you this. Lisa Eldridge has a little less slip to her velvet formula than the Gucci lipstick. So it's going to still glide on the lips effortlessly. The glide is not any different, but the look of the color is more intense. You get more pigment and it also is a little more matte but still somehow feeling so comfortable and like cloud-like on the lips. Like if a cloud could rest on your lips, <laughs> that's what these lipsticks feel like. So this is the Lisa Eldridge lipstick in the shade Velvet Muse. Oh, and this is the Gucci lipstick. So if you look at these two, you can tell that the Gucci lipstick has just a little bit more, just the slightest bit more shine and that's where I was describing like that, uh, that touch of satin formula with the velvet formula, whereas the Lisa Eldridge doesn't have that. So you do get more of a matte like finish from it, mm, but the formula is just stunning. The Lisa Eldridge lipstick from what I can smell does not have a fragrance. So if you don't like fragrance, I would say go over, go, I would say choose the Lisa Eldridge over the Gucci lipstick. But I have, ooh, I have so many shades of Lisa Eldridge. The formula is stunning. Like, 
The formula, everything about it is stunning. So like I said, if you wanna try yourself a velvet formula lipstick, you cannot go wrong with either Gucci or Lisa Eldridge. Hands down. Then we go in with Wayne Goss's lipstick. So my, first of all, I love all of the Wayne Goss lipsticks. Um, I did do a review of some of the shades of the lipsticks a year ago, and I'll link that video for you. But my favorite shade of all time, of all the lipsticks that I have, I think I have like eight of them, and my most favorite shade is this kind of pinky, coral-like lipstick in the shade Dahlia. Oh, the formula is satin. It feels so nourishing to the lips. When I did my lip swatch video for these lipsticks, my lips were not crusty and dry at the end after applying, I think it was four or five lipsticks. The formula is so nourishing to the lips. And this color, so divine. Like I said, it's like a pinky coral type of color. So if I wanna have more of like a girly, flirty look to the lips, I'm going for Wayne Goss's Dahlia. Love it, love it. Then we get into Miss Natasha Denona. I need a nude lipstick. So I have two and both of them are really, really pretty. Now for both of these lipsticks, I do need myself a lip liner because the shades are lighter. And this first one that I'm swatching is called Andrea. And this is probably more neutral. It's the first maybe more traditional neutral shade that we're showing here. I think it still has a little tinge of pink to it, <laughs> but this definitely is pulling more neutral. But I have worn Andrea in a few videos and in pictures on Instagram, and I always get someone saying, what is on your lips? So I do pair this particular shade with a nice, deep, dark brown lip liner. Depending on what look I'm going for, I will pair this with one of two lip liners. If I want it to be more brown based so that it can pull more neutral, then I will go in with the NYX Suede lip liner in the shade Cold Brew. Y'all, stunning. This is the lip liner from NYX. So like I said, if I want this particular shade to pull more neutral, this lip liner does that and it looks beautiful. Or if I wanna pull out more of like the pink, the hint of pink in it, I'll go in with Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. And that's the lip liner, lip liner right there. And that gives me a little bit more of a pink look to the shade, but I love Andrea. The other one by Natasha that I like is Maria. This one I think is definitely more of my traditional pinky nude. <laughs> but it is lighter, so once again, I need a lip liner with it, but there is the shade Maria. But formula-wise, definitely glides onto the lips, has a really nice satin formula to the lipstick, but for it to be satin, it actually lasts on the lips for a pretty decent amount of time compared to some other satin formulas. So I do think these lipsticks have some longevity to them, even though they are a satin type of formula that can tend to wear off a little faster. Okay, this lipstick is by far the cheapest lipstick I own. It, I mean, the, the, the cheapest lipstick I own, but has been a favorite of mine for the longest in my makeup loving life. And it comes from Wet n Wild, Bear It All. Y'all, this shade right here, it's stunning and Wet n Wild reformulated their matte lipsticks because this is a matte lipstick and so it's not as crusty dry because when I fell in love with this shade, I'm talking the formula was literally crusty dry on my lips but because I love the shade, it just made it work. They reformulated the lipstick so now it actually is a smoother, like a much smoother matte formula but that shade right there, is it not stunning? It is stunning. And I know I don't show too many drugstore products on my channel, but this is one that I will continue to purchase over and over and over again. I can't tell you how many bullets I've purchased over the years, but this is like the longest loving lipstick that I own. And the shade, oh, y'all know I love me a pinky nail. Absolutely stunning, like absolutely stunning. I would probably say, <laughs> I would probably say this is one of my favorite lipsticks that I own across the board. And it's definitely because I've just loved the shade for so long. I'm telling you, go pick you up one. It's it's gorgeous. Then we go with some more Charlotte Tilbury. So I have a mini size of this shade in, in Very Victoria. And I still have a good amount of this um, lipstick left, but I will repurchase it when I run out of this. This is a 
more mauve neutral, if that makes sense. So here is very Victoria and it is such a, I feel like it gives me a more smoky type effect, especially if I have like a lot of drama on the eyes, I can put this lipstick on and it gives just like that more intense kind of smoky look to the lips. I also love wearing this when I'm wearing more cooler tone eyeshadow or more cooler tone makeup. This particular lip color works very well for that. This formula is more matte, so it's not as high shine um, like JK Magic. So here's JK Magic right here from Charlotte Tilbury. And then we have Very Victoria. So definitely pulling a little more, a little more matte, but still very comfortable on the lips, not a true matte type of formula but just not as satin but love the shade nonetheless another charlotte tilbury this one is bitch perfect excuse excuse me as i say the name but this one is pretty unique in its shade because it's a pinky nude but there's some peach in there too so depending on what your eye look looks like and your face makeup this lipstick will pull either more pink or more peach and girl that is cute. So here is the shade right here, and I think it's stunning. Satin formula. Like I said, I love, like Charlotte, Til I just love Charlotte Tilbury to begin with, but her lipstick formula is definitely one of my favorites, so that's why you see so many of them in this particular video. But this shade I really like because of the versatility of the shade. There's a little peach in there, and there's also some pink. So it just depends on what you're putting on your face that will make either shade kind of stand out more. And then the last official that's currently sold on the market lipstick is going to be another Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Yes Honey. This one is definitely a true neutral lipstick shade that when I first saw it, I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to like that because it looks like it was a little too neutral. But on the lips, it looks really, really pretty. And with anything, if I want to pull it a little more pink. I can just add a pink lip liner to it and call it a day. But I actually really do enjoy the color of this lipstick and I tend to just wear it on its own when I really want a true neutral lipstick. Once again, the formula impeccable, feels great on the lips. This formula is more of the high shine formula from Charlotte Tilbury. So I never have to worry about my lips feeling dry. And even if my lips are dry and potentially cracking, this just glides over my lips, makes them feel so much more nice and so much more comfortable while giving me a great shade. Now, my honorary mention, because this particular one is sold, is discontinued, not even sold out, discontinued. And I was like, why did you do that to me? This is like, if I, if this were not discontinued, it would be my number one nude lipstick. That's how much I love it. But, as we know with Pat McGrath, she does what she wants. So this is the lipstick in the shade La Beja. This lipstick is more of a peachy type of color. Kind of has like a little bit of coral in there, like coral peach, if that makes sense. But y'all, this is by far, by far my favorite nude lipstick. Hands down, hands down. No questions asked. No questions asked. But like I said, it is discontinued from Pat McGrath's website. So I'm going to look to see if I can find it somewhere. Um, if I can't find it anywhere, I'm pretty sure this is going to be sold on like your eBay, your Macari's, maybe even Poshmark, but you might have to pay more for it if you really want it. This is Pat McGrath's Lux Trans formula. So this is her more satin like formula. <sighs> When it just gets on my lips, it speaks volumes. It's one of those lipsticks where I'm like, I don't want, I don't know what neutral shade to wear. And somehow this shade always works, no matter what is on the face, it just always works. And I just love it so much. But I wanted to share it because if you do have it and maybe you haven't worn it in a while, you know, take her out, love on her, especially because it's discontinued. Or like I said, if I can find it, check the D box. If there is a link that I was able to find, I'll have it linked down there. If not, I'm so sorry. If she ever comes back out with this, and I'm hoping she does, I just hope she does. I will let y'all know because I will be buying a backup.
So I hope that you all enjoyed this particular video. Let me know what some of your favorite nude lipsticks are. Leave them down below. I'd love to hear them because, hey, there's always more lipsticks to try and love and learn about. Um, and if you've made it to this point in the video and you have not yet subscribed, I'd love for you to consider subscribing and joining the Glam Girl Squad because we'd love to have you. And guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye guys.